Like any folklore that evolves with time, the legend of Chang'e too has shapeshifted into different versions over the millennia of its existence. But there is a common romantic thread that runs between these multiple renditions of how the beautiful goddess rose up and landed on the moon, leaving behind her one true love and husband on earth. In one popular version of the legend, Chang'e is introduced as the wife of the archer, Lord Ho Yi, during a time thousands of years ago when there were ten sons, all of whom were the children of Jade Emperor, the ruler of heaven. One day, lonely in their routine job, all ten sons came out to play, but the earth could not endure their smoldering heat. Humans and plants alike began turning into ashes. Their father, Jade Emperor now intervened and asked Ho Yi to quell his son's dangerous merrymaking. But the sons were more stubborn than Ho Yi imagined. They refused to back down. And so, to save the earth, the archer shot down nine of the ten sons, leaving behind just one. A bereaved and indignant Jade Emperor now banished Ho Yi and his wife Chang'e to live like mortals on earth. Distressed by his wife's grief over becoming an ordinary mortal, Ho Yi set out to find an elixir that could grant them both immortality. He journeyed to meet the Queen Mother of the West, who lived in a palace on the sacred Mount Kun Moon. The Queen Mother handed Ho Yi a vial of the elixir he came looking for. There was, however, a serious note of caution when receiving the elixir. The Queen Mother warned Ho Yi that the elixir must be shared between him and his wife. Upon arriving home, Ho Yi left the vial with Chang'e before going off on urgent business. Unable to wait for her return to the heavens, an anguished Chang'e drank the whole elixir by herself. But since she had been banished, Chang'e began floating up to the moon instead of the heavens. Angered by his wife's betrayal, Ho Yi chased Chang'e with his bow and arrow, but he could not bring himself to shoot the one whom he dearly loved. In some accounts of the legend, it is believed that Ho Yi eventually built a palace on the sun, which represents Yang, the male principle, while Chang'e on her moon represents Yin, the female principle. And once a year, on the 15th day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar, when the harvest moon shines the brightest, Ho Yi is able to reunite with his wife on the moon, while Asian families across the world celebrate their annual mid-autumn festival, also known as the Autumn Moon Festival, to celebrate the harvest moon. Families unite around a feast to pay tribute to Chang'e, and many gatherings indulge in the age-old practice of retelling Chang'e's journey to the moon. Sometimes, tellers of Chang'e's saga say the moon goddess drank the elixir to prevent a misdeed. They recount that Ho Yi's evil apprentice tried to steal the elixir, but Chang'e caught his caper, and before he could do anything, she drank the entire elixir and floated up to the moon. Mm -hmm.